Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of McGuanagall for Monday, May 23rd. Just a reminder for the St. John's family that uh, worship will be held this evening at 6.45 p.m. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, tell of all his wondrous works. Glory in his holy name, let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength, seek his presence continually. Remember the wondrous works that he has done, his miracles and the judgments he uttered. He remembers his covenant forever, the word that he commanded for a thousand generations. I'm reaching back still uh, a week from yesterday to Pastor Berg's um, sermon on love in Christ and, and what that looks like. And so I turn to 1 John chapter 4. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. In this the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent his only Son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us, and sent his Son to be the propitiation, the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Um, I'm not sure what newsletter it came in. Um, there are various newsletters that um, we receive from synodical um, agencies um, and also from our seminaries, uh, the, the portion of our seminary that folks focuses on continuing education for pastors it was it was in one of those monthly uh, or weekly email blurbs um, that an article came from a young pastor within the last year or so um, that uh, was simply entitled I'm looking at it now it's right above my um, computer um, I never met a man um, I didn't like um, an interesting um, interesting title and so it caused me to read the article I never met a man I didn't like and then the pastor goes on to explain well um, of course there's been plenty of people that I've struggled to love um, and struggled to like uh, this side of heaven um, and yet the article uh, and the reason um, out of all the things that I read and see I, I, I put that right above my computer not so much um, because of the content of the article. It was a fine little article, if I recall. But but just to have that in front of me, um, I never met a man I didn't like. In my role as pastor, um, to think about it in the terms of St. John, this is love um, that Jesus Christ came as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. And then we also ought to love one another. And so as pastor, to be reminded of every last person that I get to interact with, and of course this is not a perfect thing, of course my own sinful flesh and laziness and whatever else will ail that day gets in the way, but that the people that God would bring into my world as opportunities to express his love. Of course, this is not just a pastoral ministry thing. This is a you thing. Christ Jesus has been given a propitiation, a once-for-all atonement sacrifice for you on account of you for your sins. This is what love is all about. And so I'd encourage you this Monday, this week, dear friends, if we've been loved in such a way that we also ought to love one another, and you get to think about those who the Lord puts into your sphere, into your orb, into your world with such eyes again this week. Um, here are opportunities here are opportunities for love. Here are opportunities for service. 
here are opportunities um, for you to do for them as Christ has done for you. There's never been a man that I didn't like. And you might sit there and look at your computer screen and say, there's been plenty. But Christ Jesus did more than like you. He loved you. Um, the Father loved you and sent Jesus Christ the atoning payment for your sins. And now there are men and there are women, there are children, there are opportunities abounding for you to love and serve again this very day, freed in Christ to do so. In the name of Jesus, amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you, be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you are the giver of everything good. Inspire us, your humble servants, to long for what is right, and through your gracious guidance accomplish it to your glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, both now and forever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you've brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.